Hello everyone, this is Monisha, Assistant Professor, Department of English. Today we'll see about Charles Dickens, Bronte Sisters and George Eliot. So first we'll see about Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens was a prominent British author and writer who lived in the 19th century known for his diverse literary works. Dickens was a versatile writer, creating novels, short stories, and comics and novelas. He authored some of the most renowned novels of his era, including Oliver Twist, Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities, and A Christmas Carol. Dickens initially started his writing career as a journalist, contributing articles to publications such as The Mirror of Parliament and The True Sun. In 1833, Dickens began writing short stories and essays for various periodicals, expanding his literary repertoire. A dinner at Popular Walk was Dickens' first published story, appearing in the monthly magazine in December 1833, marking the beginning of his literary success. Dickens' first novel, Oliver Twist, was published in 1838. Oliver Twist was published in serialized installments over a year in Dickens' self-published periodical, Bentley Miscellany. Dickens chose to self-publish Oliver Twist in his own periodical, Bentley's Miscellany, providing a greater control over the publication process. Dickens edited several magazines during his career, including Household Words, Charles Dickens founded his own weekly journal all the year round. Many of Dickens' novels were first published in serial form in journal all the year round. So next comes Bronte Sisters. Charlotte Bronte, Emily Bronte and Danny Bronte, the three sisters made a significant and memorable contributions to the English novel during the early part of the Victorian era. Rather than depicting social life, they chose to explore and portray feminine themes, offering a unique perspective on women's experiences in their fiction. The Bronte sisters introduced a novel conception of the heroine in English fiction, portraying women as characters with great inner strength and intense emotion, reshaping the portrayal of women in literature. Their works, were marked by a specific poetic quality, infusing the English novel with rich, emotional, and vivid language, making their novels distinct in style and substance. Bronte's sister poetized the English novels. Next comes George Eliot, also known as Mary Annie Evans. George Eliot was a versatile, English writer known for her novels, poetry, journalism, and transla tran translation work. She adopted a male pen name to ensure that her works would be taken seriously in a male-dominated literary world, a common practice among female authors of her time. George Eliot novel, Middlemarch, is acclaimed by novelists such as Martin Amis and Julian Barnes as one of the greatest novels in the English language. Following success of Adam Beattie, Eliot continued to write popular novels for the next 15 years, building a strong literary reputation. Her last novel, Daniel Deronda, was published in 1876, concluding her remarkable literary career. Charlotte Bronte, she was the eldest of Bronte sisters and a notable English novelist and poet. Her works, including Jane Eyre, are considered classics in English literature. She used the pen name Curabelle. Next is Emily Jane Bronte. Best known for her only novel, Withering Heights, Emily Bronte is recognized as an English novelist and poet. Her novel has achieved classic status in English literature and she wrote under the pen name Ellis Bell. Next comes Annie Bronte, the youngest of the Bronte family, Annie was an English novelist and poet. She authored the novel, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, 
contributing to the literary legacy of the Bronte sisters. Thank you.